Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are all doing well today. So, Pisces, before we get into this reading, as usual, I will be putting down the good old holy water. Oh, yeah, baby. So good in the neighborhood, Pisces. So, you know what time it is, don't you? Mm. Tarot's now in session. The most honorable judge, T. T. Dong, presiding. We can all keep eating your hummus wrap. So, we're going to check in on the energy of the person you're dealing with, or whatever energy could be potentially approaching you. Like I always say, it could very well be your own energy. Whatever the case is, we will get it, we will hit it, and we will quit that shit together like we always do, baby. Show me the energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Ooh. <laughs> Show me the energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. <laughs> Okay, well, we're going to shuffle. We've got to wake this deck up today. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> What's going on? Show me that energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. What is going on here? Show me the energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Okay, maybe they don't have energy. Maybe they're just a corpse. Oh my god, come on now. <laughs> okay, the corpse is alive. Kind of. <laughs> oh, let's come on, show me this person's energy that's coming through for Pisces today. What's coming through for this reading today? <laughs> Oh, well, looks like we've showed up for a sword fight today. We've got 11 swords on the table of pure pleasure and pain. Oh, yeah. Whoo, doggy. This is a tight shuffle today. Okay. Do, 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 Okay, well, whoever this is, clearly, clearly cares about you, because we got three swords on the table. Maybe you put three swords in their heart. Maybe they put three swords in their own heart. Okay, but I doubt it's somebody that you don't know, because like I always say, you know, random stranger walks up to you at Walgreens and says... You know, your hair looks really dry and flaky. You're not like, oh, three swords. Oh, you're like, okay, weirdo. So they're hurting about something. This person right now walked out by the middle of a river here in the winter. They surrounded themselves in eight swords, put a blindfold on, and tied themselves up into bond on bondage here. So... They feel like they're not able to move right now, so it's a stuck energy. Seems like they are working on something here, and they might be offering you something. Okay, I don't know. Okay, what's this person hurting over right now? Ooh, what is this person hurting? Hold on, I need to take my bra off, guys. I ain't gonna lie. I just want it off. I think it's getting close to that time of the month and then the girls they swell like gallons of milk oh god oh that feels better yeah all right so what's this person hurting about right now what is this person currently hurting about right now what is this person currently hurting about right now okay <clears throat> well Maybe they lost their crown, but something unexpected happened. 
So what's this unexpected thing that's happened to cause this person to be in three swords? Alright. This could be a completion or starting or stopping of a cycle. So what is this here with the world card for what this unexpected thing happened here with the world? Maybe they're just like, you know, maybe they're just like they're upset about the world. What's this unexpected thing that they're hurting over with the world? Well, they got illuminated to something here. So what did they uh, get illuminated to for what's causing them heartbreak? Well, clearly, what comes after the tower is the star. So all this is telling me here, I don't know what happened here with this world card and the tower specifically, but they were illuminated to something here that caused this person to hurt but at the same rate, allowed them to find some peace and some hope out of this pain, which is good. You should always, always learn from heartache and find hope again, because that's what we're supposed to do. This is called evolving. And so I think with the world card, this person's evolution is turning. They are evolving as a human being for the benefit of everybody, which is good, okay? Normally, you know, I like to make jokes and yell and stuff like that, but I have empathy for both sides, okay? Unless they're a complete jack wagon, you know, then you know that when they don't have the end, then I just go nuts and start screaming and yelling, okay? So, what is going on right now with this person's brain? What are they feeling trapped about? What's this person feeling trapped about currently, please? What's this person? Thank you. What are they feeling trapped with the Eight Swords and the Eight Cups? Thank you. So, right now they feel in their brain, okay, are they evolving as a human? Okay, yes, they're getting over their heartbreak. But right now, this person feels like they can't move forward until they either cut something out or find out some kind of truth here. So what is this with the Queen of Swords energy, please? What is this with the Queen of Swords? What is this with the Queen of Swords, please? What is this with the Queen of Swords? What is this with the Queen of Swords, please? Sure. Okay, well, we need to talk to the uh, Queen of Swords with the strength, and then I'll open up my pie hole. So with this energy, okay, they need to stop being like a scared pussycat. Okay, so they, this is what this is. So right now they're unable to move forward here because they need to stop being so afraid and start being more grounded, more caring, more practical. Okay, so that's what this energy is. So I don't, this is this is a very weird, different kind of reading. I don't under, I mean, I understand it, but it's like it's just this. I don't know, but it's, it's just their energy. Sometimes the energies are really clear, and sometimes they aren't. But well, what is this person working on right now? 
what is this person working on right now? What is this working on with the Empress? So this is about, this person is like working on being more, how would I say this? More mature, more approachable, more reliable, so that they can get a new perspective on something. So what is this wanting there? What, what are they wanting to get a new perspective on here? What are they wanting to get a new perspective on? Thank you. Why this person is, it's like, they need to get over themselves, okay? And stop having a pity party. So this person stops needs to stop feeling like a victim. So whoever this is has got some kind of victim mentality. So they're trying to work on getting over their... Everybody does things to me and it's all my fault. I'm just a big idiot. I'm so stupid. Okay, so it's just a bunch of garbage. Okay, garbage. So, let's talk to the Ace of Pentacles, please. So, what's the Ace of Pentacles in this person's energy for? What's the Ace of Pentacles in this person's energy for? Ace of Pentacles, what is this? Okay. This is about fighting for this. So, why are they wanting to fight for this Ace of Pentacles? fight for this opportunity. What is this opportunity that they're fighting for? What is this opportunity that they're fighting for? This is like, I want to find out what's being hidden here. So what do they feel like is being hidden? Well, they feel like it's being hidden. It's being hidden. The chariot. So this is basically about this person, because there has been a lack of direction, a lack of control. Okay, so this is about this person wanting to fight to get direction to get control and to take charge of their life wow my goodness that was a lot this could be your reading too i don't know but it is what it is i enjoyed the reading i think i'm just gonna leave it here as always like share comment subscribe this resonated and i hope to see you later tarot's adjourned